Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to day 284 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right, just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Let's get started. Day 284, October 11th, 2022, 365 Days Bible Reading. Old Testament, Jeremiah 23, verse 9 to 40, Jeremiah 24, Jeremiah 25, verse 1 to 14. New Testament, 1 Thessalonians 4, Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 24, verse 23 to 34. Old Testament NIV version, Jeremiah 23, verse 9 to 40. Lying prophets, concerning the prophets, my heart is broken within me. All my bones tremble. I am like a drunken man, like a strong man overcome by wine because of the Lord and his holy words. The land is full of adulterers because of the curse. The land lies parched and the pastures in the wilderness are withered. The prophets follow an evil course and use their power unjustly. Both prophet and priest are godless. Even in the in my temple, I find their wickedness, declares the Lord. Therefore, their path will become slippery. They will be banished to darkness and they will fail. I will bring disaster on them in the year they are punished, declares the Lord. Among the prophets of Samaria, I saw this repulsive thing. They prophesied by Baal and led my people Israel astray. And among the prophets of Jerusalem, I have seen something horrible. They commit adultery and live a lie. They strengthen the hands of evildoers so that... Not one of them turns from their wickedness. They are all like Sodom to me. The people of Jerus Jerusalem are like Gomorrah. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty says concerning the prophets. I will make them eat bitter food and drink poisoned water because from the prophets of Jerusalem ungodliness has spread throughout the land. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise me, the Lord says you will have peace. And to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say, no harm will come to you. But which of them has stood in the counsel of the Lord to see or to hear his word? Who has listened and heard his word? See, the storm of the Lord will burst out in wrath, a whirlwind swirling down on the heads of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will, turn, will not turn back until he fully accomplishes the process of the purposes of his heart. In days to come, you will understand it clearly. I did not send these prophets, yet they have run with their message. I did not speak to them, yet they have prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, they would have proclaimed my words to my people and would have turned them from their evil ways and from their evil deeds. Am I only a God nearby, declares the Lord, and not a God far away? Who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them, declares the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth, declares the Lord. I have heard what the prophets say who prophesy lies in my name. They say, I had a dream, I had a dream. How long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prophets who prophesy the delusions of their own minds? They think the dreams they tell one another will make my people forget my name, just as their ancestors forgot my name through Baal worship. Let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream. But let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. For what has straw to do with grain, declares the Lord. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces? Therefore, declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who steal from one another words, supposedly from me. Yes, declares the Lord. 
I am against the prophets who wag their own tongues and yet declare, the Lord declares. Indeed, I am against those who prophesy false dreams, declares the Lord. They tell them and lead my people astray with their reckless lies. Yet I did not send or appoint them. They do not benefit these people in the list, declares the Lord. False prophecy. When these people or a prophet or a priest ask you, what is the message from the Lord? Say to them, what message? I will forsake you, declares the Lord. If a prophet or a priest or anyone else claims this is a message from the Lord, I will punish them and their household. This is what each of you keeps saying to your friends and your Israelites and other Israelites. What is the Lord's answer or what has the Lord spoken? But you must not mention a message from the Lord again because each one's word becomes their own message. So you distort the words of the living God, the Lord Almighty, our God. This is what you keep saying to a prophet. What is the Lord's answer to you? Or what has the Lord spoken? Although you claim this is a message from the Lord, this is what the Lord says. You used the word, the you used the words. This is a message from the Lord. Even though I told you that you must not claim this is a message from the Lord. Therefore, I will surely forget you and cast you out of my presence along with the city I gave you. And your ancestors, I will bring on you everlasting disgrace, everlasting shame that will not be forgotten. Jeremiah 24 verse 1 to 10, two baskets of figs. After Jehoiakim, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the officials, the skilled workers, and the artisans of Judah were carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, the Lord showed me two baskets of figs placed in front of the temple of the Lord. One basket had very good figs like those that ripen early. The other basket had very bad figs, so bad they could not be eaten. Then the Lord asked me, What do you see, Jeremiah? Figs, I answered. The good ones are very good, but the bad ones are so bad they cannot be eaten. Then the word of the Lord came to me. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Like these good figs, I regard as good the exiles from Judah, whom I send away from this palace to the land of the Babylonians. My eyes will watch over them for their good and will, and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not uproot them. I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord. They will be my people and I will be their God. For they will return to me with all their heart. But like the bad figs, which are so bad they cannot be eaten, says the Lord, so will I deal with Zedekiah, king of Judah, his officials, and the survivors from Jerusalem. Whether they remain in this land or live in Egypt, I will make them ab abhorrent and an offense to all the kingdoms of the earth, a reproach and a byword, a curse and an object of ridicule, wherever I banish them. I will send the sword famine and plague against them until they are destroyed from the land I gave to them and their ancestors. Jeremiah 25 verse 1 to 14, 70 years of captivity. The word came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, which was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. So Jeremiah the prophet said to all the people of Judah and to all those living in Jerusalem, for 23 years from the 13th year of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah, until this very day, the word of the Lord has come to me and I have spoken to you again and again, but you have not listened. And though the Lord has sent all his servants and prophets to you again and again, you have not listened or paid attention. They say, turn now each of you from your evil ways and your evil practices, and you can stay in their lane in the land the Lord gave to you and your ancestors forever and ever.
Do not follow other gods to serve and worship them. Do not arouse my anger with what your hands have made. Then I will not harm you. But you did not listen to me, declares the Lord. And you have aroused my anger with what your hands have made. And you have brought harm to yourselves. Therefore, the Lord Almighty says this. Because you have not listened to my words, I will summon all the peoples of the north and my servant, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, declares the Lord. I will bring them against this land and its inhabitants and against all the surrounding nations. I will completely destroy them and make them an object of horror and scorn and an everlasting ruin. I will banish them from them the I will banish from them the sounds of joy and gladness, the voices of bride and bridegroom, the sound of milestones and the light of the lamp. This whole country will become a desolate wasteland and these nations will serve the king of Babylon 70 years. But when the 70 years are fulfilled, I will punish the king of Babylon and his nation, the land of the Babylonians, for their guilt, declares the Lord, and will make it desolate forever. I will bring on that land all the things I have spoken against it, all that are written in this book and prophesied by Jeremiah against all the nations. They themselves will be enslaved by many nations and great kings. I will repay them according to their deeds and the work of their hands. Hallelujah. New Testament and IV version. First Thessalonians 4 verse 1 to 18, living to please God. As for other matters, brothers and sisters, we instructed you how to live in order to please God as in fact you are living. Now, we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the pagans who do not know God, and that in this matter, no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister. The Lord will punish all those who commit such sins as we told you and warned you before. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Therefore, anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being, but God the very God who gives you his Holy Spirit. Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you. For you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. And in fact, you do love all of God's family throughout Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do so more and more and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life you should mind your own business and work with your hands just as we told you so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody believers who have died brothers and sisters we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in the in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind we have no hope who have no hope for we believe that Jesus died and rose again and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him according to the Lord's word we tell you that we who are still alive who are left until the coming of the Lord will certainly not proceed precede those who have fallen asleep for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Hallelujah. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words.
Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 24, verse 28, 23 to 34. Further sayings of the wise. These also are sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judging is not good. Whoever says to the guilty, you are innocent, will be cursed by peoples and denounced by nations. But it will go well with those who convict the guilty and rich blessing will come on them an honest answer is like a kiss on the lips put your outdoor work in order and get your field ready after that build your house do not testify against your neighbor without cause would you use your lips to mislead do not say i'll do to them as they have done to me i will pay them back for what they did i went past the field of a sluggard past the vineyard of someone who has no sense thorns had come up everywhere the ground was covered with weeds and the stone wall was in ruins i applied my heart to what i observed and learned a lesson from what i saw a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hands to rest and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, please repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my lord and savior take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the holy spirit thank you lord for saving me and for answering my prayer in jesus name amen congratulations if you said this prayer we are so excited to welcome you into god's family kindly go ahead right now send us an email let us know you gave your heart to christ someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk the email address is salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com God bless you please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Facebook on Instagram and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba thank you for being here today I look forward to another amazing day tomorrow with you have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.